everybody, it's Free Range Kara. I got a question the other day asking me who were some of the wrestlers I looked up to when I first started watching wrestling versus the wrestlers that I look up to now. So I got four that I um, looked up to right away and four that I look up to now. The first one that came to my head was AJ Lee. Um, I started watching wrestling right around the time she was getting popular and it was really nice for me to see somebody, you know, didn't fit what I'd been told every female wrestler looked like. Like, she looked more like a tomboy, and she looked like more of a nerd, and that's the character she was portraying. And it was nice for me to see someone who was more nerdy and not as, like, conventionally, like, WWE pretty. And it really helped me look and see, like, oh, you know, I think I might like wrestling. I can get behind this girl. The, the second woman that I noticed right away was Beth Phoenix again. Kind of not the stereotypical... Not that there's anything wrong with stereotypically beautiful women, but seeing Beth Phoenix come out with her her big arms and her like her size advantage, like seeing how dominant she looked, it was like, oh, there's another person that I'd love to look like Beth Phoenix. And just watching her fight men, fight women, and really just kick ass, it really really got me into wrestling. Um, another WWE guy. I watched mostly WWE at the time. Can you blame me? It's all I knew. Uh, the main one was CM Punk. Um, the first wrestling that I ever saw was uh, Raw after WrestleMania 20, 27. 27. Uh, CM Punk and Randy Orton. And I just didn't quite like Randy Orton, so I ended up rooting for CM Punk. I know what a stereotypical fan. Root for the bad guy. Rah, 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 rah. Um, but again, the unconventional look, like he looked different. He wasn't, he didn't look like John Cena. Not that there's anything wrong with John Cena. That's gonna be this entire video with me saying, there's nothing wrong with these people. Like everyone's got their opinions. And I just really liked CM Punk. I liked how well he talked on the microphone. I liked how his character portrayed that he didn't care about the system. Like he was his own man doing his own thing. And he ended up taking over, which was awesome to me. The fourth person I wanted to mention um, I saw in TNA was uh, Christopher Daniels. I don't know what it is about him that drew my attention, but I, he wrestled great, he talked great. I loved the banter that he and Frankie Kazarian had going at the time. Like, I saved this video on YouTube of a moment where they're mocking AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels bellows out. Greetings, Greetings and, salutations, and salutations, all you ham sandwiches. All you ham sandwiches! And for some reason, that cracked me up. And I, obviously I still think about it almost 10 years later after it happened. And I don't know, there's just something about him. And even now he continues to like innovate and be a leader and pave the way for younger people. And you know, he's still on a national stage after all these years. As for um, the more I've been in wrestling, I've kind of had my views changed. I'm learning new things about people. So I do have some more um, people that I've met along the way that I've started looking up to more. The first one would be Victoria. I, I did watch her in TNA as Tara, but I didn't quite, I didn't realize just what a great competitor she was. But since Starting wrestling, I've actually gotten to work with her on a couple different occasions and be on shows with her. And you guys, Victoria is the the sweetest person in the entire world. And she still works hard at everything she does. Like every time I get to share a locker room with her, I ask so many questions and I try not to be starstruck because oh my god, it's Victoria. But she's been a great uh, role model for me on how I want to be as a wrestler. Like I. Even years later, after fame, after fortune, I want to be able to be as down to earth and as welcoming as she was to me. And she's really, really risen up there in my, my favorites. The second woman that I'd like to mention would be Kylie Ray. I know as of this video's filming, she's not doing professional wrestling right now, but watching her again go from being kind of an unknown to really blossoming into this beautiful person and seeing her take on all challenges and win championships, male or female championships, challenge anybody, and just be a real positive role model for a lot of girls that you don't have to be um, 
over the top, or, well she is over the top, Kylie. But you don't have to fit a certain mold, you can literally just be happy to be here. And that was Kylie's thing, like she was always happy, always smiley Kylie Ray. I never did get to work with her, but I did get to share a couple locker rooms with her and she's so nice and so sweet. And if she comes back to wrestling, I'd really love a chance to pick her brain and work with her one-on-one -on -one or really any type of match. I just want to, I'd love to work with her. In terms of the two uh, men that I kind of most look up to now in wrestling, uh, they're two local guys. Uh, the first one being uh, Darren Corbin. Darren's always been super helpful to me and I know that I can come to him with anything, questions about matches, footages, <laughs> footages, matches, um, promotional material, questions about wrestling itself. I know that he's gonna have a great opinion for me and he's, he's not gonna be a jerk about it because he loves wrestling and he wants it to be better and I want it to be better. The couple times I've gotten to work with him have been amazing too. He works so hard and you can tell. And the last one I wanted to bring up is one of my uh, favorite wrestlers that I've gotten a chance to know, and that is the anarchist Eric Cannon. He had a big part of my training, and he continues to help me outside the ring with whatever I ask him. He helps me with questions about, oh, you know, can I do this on social media versus this? Um, should I include this? Should I do that? I always try to bounce ideas off of him, and he's been around, guys. He's good. And I just want to be more like him. I want to be more like Darren and Victoria and Kylie. I just want wrestling to be good. I want it to be great. And I want it to be good for everybody. That's the end of this video. If you guys are interested in finding out some more of my favorites or have any other questions for me, you can put them down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Alright, uh, bye bye